Hi folks, Herb Gingold with RV Intelligence. We're here with our friend Jason Perry and we're about to install Jazz 30 remote controls on his awning and on his slide and on the jack when we're done. Jazz 30 remote controls allow you to control any RV feature, electrically operated RV feature from your smartphone now and with some basic wiring you can put it in in minutes. We're going to do it together. Sounds great. So we've located the RV switch for the awning, which is right here on this bulkhead, and we're going to go into the bulkhead to get to the wiring through this stereo. Uh, Jason's already pulled the fuses. That's very important, folks. Please do pull the fuses if you're doing this yourself. And if you're not comfortable working on your trailer and using 12-volt electricity, uh, please go see one of our fine RV service centers. One of our RVIA trained technicians will be happy to install this for you and do a great job. It'll be worth the, the money if you're not comfortable with what you're doing. Well, my friend Jason's pretty technically adept, so we're going to do it ourselves. Sounds great. Okay, we've gone and taken the switch and the stereo out, and what we found here is the wiring that comes for the awning. What you get here is your source wiring, which is the power wiring for the trailer. If you don't know this, this is important. In the RV world, just like in the home world, black is hot and white is ground. And as the code says for home, black is death and white is life. So. In the RV world, a black wire is typically not the ground wire, it is your 12 volt power wire, and that's what the case is here. Then we have our wires that go out to the awning, and I can tell that they're awning wires because they're zipped together, and in this case, they're also marked black and white. Uh, the way the awnings work, that really doesn't matter, it's a polarity issue, and we'll test that before we get done here. So the way we install our Jazz 30 remote control is very simple. We need to give it power and ground just like the awning needs, then we take the signal, that the switch would be normally sending to the awning and we intercept it and then we connect this output to the motor and what will happen then is when you want to use the switch the signal goes right through and when we want to control it with our Jazz 30 remote control your app will allow you to control that same awning. In about five minutes here we're going to show Jason how he can pair up and everything. So let's get started. One thing to note about the Jazz 30 is we've used black and, and red standard automotive colors. Uh, it's just something we did because of the fuse holder here. So in our unit, and we mark it clearly, red is the 12 volts, black is the ground. I know it's a little confusing, but in the RV world, you have to connect the black to the white here and, and the black to the red. You've got to make sure you do it right. You will not operate if you reverse power and ground. It won't damage anything on our unit. It's self-protected, but uh, it won't function. Here's a typical Jazz 30 installation a standard slide switch and motor. The Jazz 30 wires in between the two. The Jazz 30's green wires get wired to the slide motor. The Jazz 30's yellow wires get wired to the switch. And the Jazz 30's red and black power wires get wired to the switch's black and white power wires. Now the installation is complete. The only thing to test is whether in and out work both on the Jazz and the switch. If it's incorrect, swap the yellow wires first. If that doesn't fix the problem, swap the green wires and you may have to return and re-swap the yellow wires back, but by this time your Jazz 30 remote control should be working perfectly. Enjoy. So what we've, so what we've got here is we've got the main power wires, and what we've done is we've taken the output of our module and hooked it up to the awning input. We've taken the output of the switch here and hooked it up to our input, and now we're about to tap off the power and ground to give ourselves power and ground for our module. Black goes to red, and white goes to black. Remember our little convention code for the RVs. Go ahead, sir. Put that fuse back in for the awning. Now we're just testing to make sure his awning's working. And I can hear quite clearly the awning is working. So now, my friend Jason, let's pair up your phone and prove to ourselves that the awning is working correctly. Okay. So. Now that we've made sure the awning works perfectly with the original switch, and you saw it, and you can hear, it works just fine with the original switch. Now what we're going to do is pair up the app. So the RV IQ Motion app has no devices set up, so we're going to add a Jazz. And what it's going to do is come out and find your unit here, and you can see it just found a Jazz 30, and its ID is C4. So every uh, Jazz 30 has its own name. So then we're going to touch this Jazz 30 and select it, and now we get to give it a name. 
and you can sit there and put any name you want in there. You can take out JAS and put awning. Okay. Now, here's the important part. We're going to select a picture of an awning, and then it's going to ask us to pair. Pairing for the JAS30 is very simple. The pairing code is very easy. It's 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which could offer you zero protection, but you must hit the switch inside for just a second in any direction, and that opens up a one-minute pairing window. So we're going to select an awning here, and it just clicked and said, I want to pair, and you enter 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, pair. And now you can see that the word awning is highlighted in green, which means he's connected. And if you will hit one of those buttons for me. So we've just tested to make sure we have the polarity correct all the way down the line, and we do. So we're ready to sit there and, uh, and finish up the install on Jason's awning control. But here's the great part. We have a safety mechanism, because now that you have a Bluetooth connection, you can make that awning go out maybe with an accidental dial from the car seat while you're driving, but not with a Jazz 30 remote control. We have motion detection. And as you can see here on the app, we've picked up a little motion that I introduced by shaking the unit. That won't allow you to connect. It'll disconnect you and make sure that when you're driving down the highway, you're never accidentally going to push out your awning and cause ourselves a big bunch of problems. So we're going to button up our work here, and then we're going to go outside and control this awning. So now we've got the unit installed and the whole awning system put back together and the fuse in, and as you can see, to connect or disconnect to the remote, the Jazz 30 remote control hooked up to your awning, Jason, you just touch the icon that says awning, it turns green, and as you're ready to do, you hit the electronic button and control your awning from your phone. You are remote controlled, my friend. <laughs>